In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your BMW 13 button OBC LCD screen. To start, you're going to need some basic tools, including a needle nose pliers, Phillips screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, a razor blade, and the replacement LCD screen. Next, we need to remove the coating plug. These can be really brittle and sometimes they'll just fall apart when you're trying to remove them. This isn't a huge issue because at the end of the video, I'll show you that you can install the chip inside without the white plastic housing. To separate the front assembly from the back shell, first cut or peel the sticker on the side. Next, remove these two screws. Now's a good time to fix another common issue with these OBCs, which is front button illumination. If you've noticed that your front buttons aren't illuminated at night, you need to replace this bulb on the back. I'll put the link in the description of the part number so you can easily find it. Before we get back into the LCD repair, I wanted to mention that if your screen doesn't illuminate, you need to replace the backlight board. Just pop it out with a needle nose pliers and replace it with one of the various third party LED options. Now back to the disassembly of the OBC. Take your small flathead screwdriver and wedge it between the front and back half of the OBC next to this mounting tab. Gently pry until the gap forms, then you can pull the back shell off. There is technically an early model and late model design. The only difference in this whole process between the two is the early model uses a ribbon cable to connect the LCD to the main electronics. Take your needle nose pliers and gently remove the ribbon cable from the pins. Now we're going to separate the front LCD screen and button assembly from the rear electronics. It's really important that you make sure to hold the ribbon cable out of the way with your thumb like you see me doing here. If the back electronics separate quickly, they can catch the ribbon cable and damage it. Now firmly grasp both halves and pull them apart as evenly as possible. For the late model design, since there's no ribbon cable, you can skip straight to removing the back electronics. You can set the back electronics assembly aside, it won't be needed again until reassembly. Now remove all seven screws surrounding the white plastic housing, which holds the LCD assembly together. Now carefully remove the rest of the LCD components. Take note of the orientation of the rubber connector strips. They have indentations on the top side from the contacts on the white plastic housing we just removed. Make sure they go back in this orientation. There's a layer of protective film on the front and back of the new LCD screen. Peel the front off with the tape. Peel the back off at the corner using the pad of your finger. Avoid picking or prying at the corner because you can peel off more than just the protective film and ruin your screen. The new screen needs to be installed in a specific orientation. The ridges that the rubber LCD connector strips sit in should be facing towards the inside of the OBC. There's a small bump on one side of the new screen. This needs to be oriented to the left. Now put back together the remaining components in the LCD assembly. Make sure the rubber LCD connector strips are free of any dust or debris before reinstalling. Once installed, verify that they're sitting flush against the LCD screen and make sure none of the edges are lifted up. Now reinstall the white plastic housing making sure it sits fully down against the rubber strips. Tighten all seven screws in a cross or star pattern as you see me doing here. Do so as evenly as possible, making sure they're nice and tight. Keep in mind they are screwed into plastic so they can strip. If you're having problems with jumbled characters on the new screen, the issue lies between the contacts on the white plastic housing and the rubber connector strips. To fix the issue, disassemble and reassemble the white plastic housing, verifying the connector strips and the housing are seated in place. Now reassemble the rest of the OBC. If the white plastic housing for the coating plug got destroyed while removing it, just install the chip inside, making sure to line up all the pins. 
Thanks for watching and enjoy your newly refreshed OBC.